Hi everyone, today we are buying a horse from the Star Stables Foals app. I was meant to do this like a month ago, but better late than never, so let's get into that. By the way, the Fjord horse I am riding, you will see this horse in upcoming videos. Don't buy the saddle that I bought. The saddle I have right now is way better, because in future videos, he wears like a black saddle with green on it. This saddle that's at Jarlaheim is a lot better because the green and the blue match the entire midsummer set that I have on right now. But anyway, let's just go to my stable because like I have to buy the horse from the app. By the way, let me know what horse that you would buy from the app because like there is quite a few of them. Okay, so we are in the stable and now we just have to get the horse out. I don't have any room in my stable, so yeah. But here's the horse I got. I decided to get the Irish Cobb, which I named her Memory because I just thought it was a cute name, which I'm pretty sure I found somewhere because like the horse is kind of like a ghost, so ghost of the past, Memory. Well, I think it'll be a girl, actually. I'm going to use the Midsummer Tack that I have. Like, I actually save my Star Coins nowadays to be able to get things like discounted horses, you know? Because why pay full price for a horse? But sadly, this horse is only on the app. Not full price. Even though, I'll talk about it later, but whatever, so... By the way, I'm getting this horse. I got the horse because of my birthday. I totally forgot to mention that, but this is like my birthday horse. Every year, I try to get a birthday horse. It's like tradition, you know, because like the first year I did it was 2017, I think, and I got a really, really nice Icelandic horse. Then in 2018, I think I got another horse as well. 2019 I might have skipped. I'm pretty sure I skipped 2020 as well. I don't know if I skipped 2021. I don't think I did, but I don't know. But basically, I just get a birthday horse every single year. And this year it's, you know, it's late kind of, but why not still get the horse? Oh, so we have to like change the horse's mane first because I don't like it. <laughs> like I just feel like it's a little bit too much. So let's go change that. Yeah, so there's like only a few different main styles, I think. They're all really good though, I think, you know. So the first one is this. It's like really short which I usually get this one, but I don't know if I like it now. The braids are really cute. Yeah, I don't like these original main styles. I think I might just get this one. But I don't know if I should get it with or without the fur on its jaw. I think I'll just get this one, honestly. Yeah. Okay, that's cute. Anyway, so let's go take pictures. This horse is so pretty. This took like weeks of waiting. Because I was trying to save my star coins. Because I stopped buying star coins, so. Which, like, by the way, just my opinion, we are getting a fully trained horse. Not fully trained. It's, like, halfway trained. It's, like, level 10. And you think if it's fully trained, it would cost less. Which I know you could say, that's not true. Because if it's trained, it means it'll cost more. However... We're the ones who trained it anyway, so why do we have to 
pay full price for a trained horse. Like, I feel like the effort you put in should be, like, a discount to the Starcoin price. Because I would never get the app unless if there's a horse I really want. Like, why do I need to train the horse in the app? The app really is for people who don't play Star Stable yet because it will hopefully get them to want to join Star Stable, you know? So it's weird how if you're already a player, you have- you still have to buy the horse with the discount without the discount because like why should I have to put the effort in like why can't the horse be in this game already like well I don't know why I have to use the app like I think it's like such an inconvenience honestly like here's an app that you're going to use once for this horse it's just to buy horses which like I'm willing to do without training them in the app. I don't like training in the app. It's so much effort. And plus, like, I, I play it on a Chromebook, and the motions for it don't work half the time because it's made for the mobile phone, you know? This horse is so pretty, though. Like, she really is just, like, top tier. I think the saturation's a little bit too high, but it's fine. It's just a really pretty horse, like, whatever. There's videos I want to make about horses, and I'm like, I want to talk in depth about the horse breed, but I also, like, if I have to give my opinion on a horse, my opinion really is, if the horse is pretty, I'll buy it. Like, I'm really simple in that sense. Like, if the horse is pretty, I will buy it, end of story. As well as if I like the gates and the animations, of course, you know? But, um... Yeah. I like this horse because it's realistic. The coat color is really pretty. The animations are nice. It's just a really, really cool horse. Like, yeah, I can't really do much with it. You know? Because you can't really... It's a digital horse, but, like, it's pretty, so... That's this horse. See, every single pose it has is good. Like, are you serious? Look at this horse. Like, literally, since I don't do quests or all of that, I really do just log on, say that my horses are pretty, and then log off. Like, I have a lot of fun, I think, taking pictures and stuff. I have, like, the best midsummer outfit. And the best horse, like genuinely. So that is it. I really love my new horse. I'm not gonna use it for midsummer though. I'm gonna use it for I think Christmas because it's a really pretty horse. Or I could save it for midsummer. I don't know. Either way, it's pretty. But anyway, bye!